Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do a pick a card, and today's pick a card is what blessing is the universe going to deliver to you next in whatever time period you want to put on it. So if you want to say within the next week, within the next month, within the next three months, however you want to state it in your mind, and this is when this blessing will come for you. So I'm going to be using the Chinese fortune card, so it's a little bit of that fortune energy as well coming up, but this is going to be a blessing. And if it's a negative card or if it's a negative energy, it's going to be a blessing in disguise and it's going to bring a, bring a blessing to you in some way. So that's what Spirit is um, guiding me to indicate to everyone. And so I have the Kuan Yin, this little Kuan Yin statue, the glass crystal ball. Let's hold it up here. And then Mother Mary. These are the three items you can focus on. I'm focusing on Kuan Yin. I will, pull, I will pull an undercurrent for everyone, which is going to be an overall blessing coming to everyone in whatever time frame you are indicating. And I have the Kuan Yin here. Uh, the glass crystal ball. What blessing is the universe bringing to those drawn to the glass crystal ball? And Mother Mary. And the undercurrent right here for everyone is, oh, a wish, 26. Interesting, my birthday is uh, the 26th. It was the 26th of July. So for me, this is my birthday wish. I made a secret birthday wish. And so for instantly, like I have my own message there that uh, within the time frame that I chose, my birthday wish is going to happen. So I love to see that. And of course, it's secret. I can't tell. But for everyone, you ha you know your own secret wish. You've probably had one for a while. <laughs> and so in whatever time frame is going to come. This is a this says a wish will come true in the near future. A real be realistic in what you wish for. This is a majority uh, this is a majorly optimistic period, so make the most of the time and act accordingly. Unexpected surprises and gifts will come your way, and you will be able to place foundations down for the rest of the year. Happiness is close by. Um, it says to help manifest the power of the wish card, place it in the right hand side of your bedroom. Place two red candles by your bed and using a pin, search your, scratch your desires into the candle and light it from a few hours each night. Say a prayer or affirmation before blowing them out. This ritual will help manifest your desires and increase the chances that your wish will be granted. So you can snapshot it and print it out or just simply look at it in the evening. You can light a tea light if you like. You don't have to go to those full lengths to do that, I don't think. It's just your intention and focusing on your wish, I feel, and looking at the visual is going to help magnify the power. But they are saying a wish, a sincere wish, a realistic wish will be granted um, in the time frame that you picked for everyone. So I love seeing that. The number 26 can be important for everyone. So if you picked Kuan Yin, what blessing the universe is going to bring your way and in the time frame that you chose, and it is paradise. It's beautiful. So you could be perhaps traveling to a very beautiful location, creating paradise around you, feeling like you are in paradise, um, which is very pleasurable. So a lot of pleasure is coming your way. We have number 21, and I'm going to read. Actually, I'm going to take this down. I'd like to have the card where you can see it and then I'm gonna put the little so we know where we're at okay so 21 and 21 in the tarot is the world card so a beautiful completion of a cycle as well it says daydreaming about a better life castles in the sky and escapism this card indicates you are searching for the ultimate happiness in your life and have many unfilled desires you may currently be unhappy about what's happening in the world or in your own personal life and looking for inner peace and tranquility the answers to your questions about the meaning of life, death, and what really makes you happy will be answered, but be patient. You will have a lot more faith in the future, and you will be you will find greater spirituality and have greater satisfaction within your life. So the career aspect is, this card is a sign of good fortune, so feel more optimistic as things will start to improve. A more joyous career or life awaits. What others call castles in the sky or daydreams may become a reality if you have faith and believe in yourself and your abilities. So there is better career out there as well for those that are looking for career and finances. Relationships says secret worries about loved ones' health or loss of loved ones could see a time of reflection and pondering over past relationships. Those that have lost may 
visit in your dreams. So if you've lost a loved one, they may visit you in your dreams. This card is a good omen for meeting the ultimate life partner and having more harmonious around the home and more harmony around the home. The paradise card also indicates romantic travel to an exotic location. So the tip, the feng shui tip, is placing the god and goddess of longevity in your home will bring you the ultimate health, happiness, and long life. Another great technique for manifesting your dreams into reality is creating a vision board by placing pictures of all your desires or wishes onto a cork or message board, which you can see each day easily. If trying to release the grief over a lost loved one, saying a simple prayer for them each night before bed can calm your spirit and help you turn your grief into something positive through remembrance. So this group may also be getting, from what I'm gathering from that, is that you may be getting a dream visitation from a lost loved one in the time frame that you chose, as well as something very beautiful unfolding in your life and more of spirituality and connection to your higher and soul self as well. So very beautiful message. But I feel like the strongest energy is a dream visitation was really coming out there. So this card, this card, if you chose the glass crystal ball, um, what is coming to you from spirit is heaven. Wow, this is interesting. Um, to me, because again, it's a sense of someone from spirit, you know, connecting. With you. So it is number 36. Unsatisfied with life, searching for happiness, messages from heaven. So again, like I just said, this is the most spiritual card in the whole deck and messages from the heaven are more than likely. You may be facing some major life cha challenges and questioning your future survival. Look for signs from the appearance of a willy wagtail or extra bright flowers appearing at significant times or a clock that seems to stop for no reason. Hmm. These seem like important messages for this group. I'm going to read it again. Look for signs like the appearance of a willy wagtail. Geez, I would have to Google that. I don't know what a willy wagtail looks like. Or extra bright flowers appearing at significant times or a clock that seems to stop for no reason, as these can be signs that your loved ones are close by. You will probably soon have dreams of a loved one that has passed over and they will appear to you looking younger and healthier. You'll know that they are happier and safe where they are. Pay attention to gut feelings and intuition is higher than normal. So again, a repetition of what was just coming through from this group. And so these may all be... And interestingly too, I wanna say, with the wish card, it can tie into a dream. The dream that comes may be about a birthday time frame or no, not so much that. It could have something to do with your birthday, but it could also be a dream. Pay attention to the dream if you get one because it's going to give you a sign or symbol of a gift that's coming to you. And I feel like the messages, more of the messages of the blessing that the universe is going to come is going to come to you through this dream from the loved one and they are going to deliver more of the message of what the universe is bringing to you and this is also meant to help you tie into talking to spirit so it's gonna you're gonna get like a prophetic let me go back there. you're gonna get like a prophetic dream and because of that prophetic dream and how it unfolds it's going to buoy your faith in the afterlife and in spirit and of the fact that your loved one is still living up. So you, some, of, some of you guys may be like believing in it, but not completely or having your doubts a little bit. And this is going to what, relinqu this is going to relinquish those doubts. It's going to, you're going to have without a doubt that this is occurring. So that's the message I'm getting because this says wish, birthday wish. And so for me, when I get a sign from spirit, they utilize dates and stuff. And so I feel like you're going to get a date about an event in your dream. And then once it unfolds, you're going to say, wow, that was really, um, you know, that is, that is undeniably the truth of the situation. So watch for that. It's going to bring a date and a, and a circumstance to you very clearly in the dream. Both of these groups so far, I'm interested to see what Mother Mary has to say, but I'm going to read on, but I had to stop and clarify that because I feel like this whole group everybody here now so far um so career and finances you are in a rut and possibly will change careers or positions over the coming years so for this group you may have a change of career that you're not yet aware of as well as what i just said there um you may see 
offers come your way which are too good to refuse. Your ability to manifest your desires is hugely, hugely highly charged now and you could, should do a vision board as soon as you possibly can with this incredible he heaven card. Um, relationship says messages from loved ones come coming through dreams and you may even be touched by an angel with a special person coming into your life filled with pure love that uplifts you on you or the family so in addition to the dream um, a possible change in career over the couple years you're also going to get a, per a new person is coming into this group's life this group um, and it's gonna up that person is gonna uplift you and your family now because it says a couple years regardless of the time frame you put on here I feel like it could take up to a couple years for that all that to occur but I feel like the time frame you put on it is when the dream is gonna come so if you said this week if you said this month if you said in three months that's when the dream's gonna come there's gonna be a prophetic message given as well as these other messages so there's a lot coming here so you will be very blessed um, with some with some almost heavenly experiences and they find you have healing abilities through your hands or the ability to use the right words to make people feel better so you're going to come across the healing modality or an ability to ease others suffering through your speech your words written or spoken um, you may also discover a child has special talents or is a gifted psychic so there may be a child in your family that is um, gifted or you may be having Perhaps you're going to have a child in the next couple of years, and that child will be very gifted, um, have a strong ability. I like to say have a strong ability versus gifted, because we all have the abilities, but it's just you know in their strength and in our awareness of them and our usage of them. So um, the feng shui tip here is to place a crystal angel in the home for spiritual increase and protection of family. It is important to be aware of how blessed we are. So jot down one thing you are grateful for in a journal each night before sleep to pull in the power of gratitude. So utilizing gratitude and bringing in a crystal angel into the home. So very beautiful messages and it brought out more for this group. That's why I really don't like to put too much, like I'll put time frames on my pick of cards, but oftentimes I will kind of like zoom in and out, back and forth. And if you're just listening to yours, you're kind of missing um, like if you just listened to this and moved on, then you would have missed that, that message that came out that everybody's going to get, I feel, up into this point right now anyway, some sort of prophetic dream that gives them a date of a, an event and that it will unfold and it will bring you closer to your beliefs and it will buoy your faith and spirit and the afterlife. So the Mother Mary, if you pick Mother Mary, what blessing is the universe, angels, God, and spirit bringing to you? And it is marriage. Wow beautiful so this group there is you know if you're looking to get married obviously if you're not looking to get married you may go oh gosh I don't want to get married um, it could be a commitment it could be a spiritual commitment um, coming your way so let me read number 20 is the judgment card in the tarot and the judgment card in the tarot is all about for me it's an association with Archangel Gabriel so it talks about communication it talks about messages again <laughs> they're kind of chuckling Messages from spirit. Okay, I get it. So I do feel like this group is also going to get a message in the dream. And there's going to be a dream visitation. Archangel Gabriel, there's going to be a message conveyed, sort of like Mother Mary. <laughs> getting, you know, She has that divine connection to Archangel Gabriel, of course, about her um, being pregnant, right? So there is a huge energy here. So messages for everyone, I feel, coming to you. Very prophetic messages, um, which is really interesting to me. Uh, and so just watch for that and it's going to be about something that you're wishing for or it's you know it's going to be very a very good this is not a scary message this is not like forewarning of something bad this is a message of something positive happening in your life and it's going to be a very clear dream that you wake up from it's going to have a date I feel and an event for something to unfold and I'd be interested in the coming days and however long even if you have that happen come back and state it on the um, comments below or send me a private message in my email because I would be interested to see if that truly did unfold for everyone because I feel it's coming up here again because of the association to me reading it intuitively from feels like Gabriel and Mother Mary you know just when I even look at this and so that was that spiritual um, you know connection and promise too so interesting to me Hmm, let me read a little bit. Marriage or commitment 
Potential extremely high can also relate to business commitments. So this could be a business commitment. That's what I said. It could doesn't have to be like a marriage, romantic. It can be a business aspected or some sort of partnership or, you know, commitment to your to more spiritual path or to your spirituality for yourself. So it says this card is the best in the pack if you're asking about marriage or starting a business. Look your best at every given opportunity as sparks of potential are flying all around you now. Enjoy this wonderful, fruitful time. You have just come through a very restless period in your life and you were not sure which direction to take. And now you're a steadier footing and this Chinese reading card represents a more settled period ahead. Um, although the marriage symbol also throws the emphasis on close personal relationships, you are likely to be in demand in business or on that career front as well as socially. Write about write out your affirmations and keep them inside your wallet or around the home as a reminder of what you desire. This card represents harmony across your whole life and a calmer approach is going to be the best. Be for the best. You will also make some firm decisions which will be in your best highest interest for the future. Tremendous emotional fulfillment is in store for you and lots of wonderful lifelong friends are coming to enrich your life's journey. So again, new friendships are coming as well, same as the center card. Um, indicated commitments such as marriage business or career being made now that could last a lifetime and the career finances says your aura is brighter than ever and you will attract some interesting job offers financial opportunities or gains you could be at the right place at the right time to be offered the special job or even to win some money relationship says time for ripe time is ripe for romance Singles could find love in the least expected place. Uh, be out and about as much as you can. It's auspicious time for joining modern dating sites. Marriage potential is extremely high and awesome period for the lovers to take the next step or you may rekindle an old flame. The feng shui tip is place a red crystal ball in bedroom to help attract your soulmate. So that is a simple, it's, the only, it's a very simple one. But again, because of the association with Mother Mary and, and Gabriel, I'm also getting a prophetic message coming to this group as well which kind of ends where we began kind of and wrapping it up for everyone that that is the biggest blessing and, and it's all going to be individual to each person so you're going to get your own special individual message through a dream or prophetic I believe it's going to come through a dream at night in the, in the evening but it could come through another person it could come through lyrics something you see that stands out or just kind of calls to you but I do feel it's going to be more in the dream state. And it's going to be a, something specific to you, something specific to a wish, or something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and um, positivity. Wow. Beautiful messages for everyone. And so I will be back soon with another pick-a-card. Angel blessings and oceans of love.